everyone. This is Magna Pi. I'm here with Teku Golgotha, the Hilo and Dark Templar, and we are Initiative Zero. Welcome to Rifts the Devouring Swarm, episode 11 now. Um, we're moving along now, and uh, yeah, these guys are tangling with some Splagorth forces. Um, how you guys doing? It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. We're good. Good. Well, it's everybody seems to want the weather report, so uh, yeah. we can get the weather report. <laughs> That's important. We got rain here yesterday. Are we actually doing this? Yes. Okay. We've steadily been under 20 degrees Celsius. Nice. Crazy. It's weird. It's like we have a fall here. What? Normally, it's just like winter, eight months winter of is gray coming. and... <laughs> winter is coming. coming. Yeah. No. Well, it's not that cool year yet. Hey, when I was out in your neck of the woods, Teku, everything was green. And then I'm flying back on the plane. I look out the window, everything is brown. Well, it's just the nature of things, though. It's amazing it's what water does. Just... Don't, don't, don't be saying that it's green. Or don't be saying that it's gray, because it was quite... Oh, I just hot. meant weather-wise. We don't, we don't really have spring or fall anymore. We just have some weird amalgam of just gray and gross. Hot AF and then cold AF. Yeah, for like a, a month, maybe. But it just drags. Hmm. Yeah, well, on that happy note, <laughs> that's the weather for today. Where you guys are right now, it is spring in uh, in the on the coast of Maryland. And you encountered um, a few invisible Splagorth forces that got dropped off from a flying boat and um they were invisible not detectable upon any of your sensors so portland stuck his head out the front hatch and had to get a look at them with his sea invisibility and i believe portland you also made yourself invisible yep cool and then to in order to target one of them he lobbed a rock at one of them the power lord the one that has a p there and uh, and then the Hilo, your character, Gautrick, opened fire with a volley of mini-missiles. And that's... Okay. Yeah, then they all kind of reorganized themselves and pointed their um, staffs, which seemed to have some sort of worm in a container at the top end. Uh, they pointed those at you. And that's where we left. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll some initiative just to see who goes first to make sure that we are in the right uh, order and everybody gets a chance to do stuff. So if you guys would please select your tokens and roll that initiative. Hey, hey I got a good one this time. Uh, uh, did Sixth Sense kick off? Ah, uh, yeah, you'll get your Sixth Sense. Quickly rearrange. Cool. Well, there we are. Senate, you're going first. What do you want to do? Well, um, I believe I just used uh, telemechanics to take control of the big gun. So yep. let's try the big gun. Okay. Cool. These guys are still, still invisible. Run away, you know. Just throwing it out there. I don't control legs. That's right. Uh, so they are still invisible. So um, it's not quite the same thing as launching missiles. So you're going to be at a penalty to hit them. Okay. I mean, I, I sure. I kind of expected that much. Yeah. I mean, there's a big crater you can target, I guess, and just kind of <laughs> do a blast in there. There's two options See if with if I can that. make it just, just a little bit bigger. There's two options with that railgun. Um, you can do two different sized bursts. The penalty, So the penalty to strike with the railgun will be minus nine. You have two options with that railgun, two modes of attack. You can do a uh, single blast, which is 40 rounds 
or a double blast, which is a rapid firing of two full bursts at the same target. And what are the mods on the two options? Um, essentially, it would be a normal attack roll for each. Um, it doesn't seem to have... You're just using up more ammo, right? Oh, so. well then I'll just start with being a bit more conservative until I have eyes on an actual target. All right, sounds good. So it's a... So you need to give me a percentile check for weapon systems, which is the oh, skill, okay. which is what you get with your telemechanics, so it would be an 80%. Okay, uh, I'll start with that. There we go. So you will be able to make use of the the thing successfully and get your bonus mm -hmm. of plus one, and you can make a roll with just that plus one. Uh, so plus one minus nine. That so is correct. Minus eight. Total of minus eight. Okay. Yep. One d twenty minus eight. And you just blast all over the place, um, hoping to hit things, but you don't quite. It's, um, it's firing for effect. That's it's fine. It's loud. It's certainly loud, um, and it's forty rounds of <laughs> of high impact, you know, metal firing across that area there. But you overshoot it a little bit, uh, tearing up the ground behind there. Sir Luke, what would you like to do? You're in the co-pilot seat. Is there a way to uh, use? Well, I don't have radio, but is there a way to use the radio to let? Uh... Uh, you know, anybody in the vicinity who might be around and might be able to be supportive uh, to say, hey, they're, we're, we're under attack? Um, yeah, you can probably hit the button to broadcast. You just probably don't know how to adjust things and the like. So yeah. for whatever the settings are now, you can slap on that, you know, talk button and send a signal out. Yeah, I will do that. It, okay. might, it seems to be the most useful thing I could do at this moment. All right, Gotrick, you are in charge of the rest of the robot. What would you like to do? You're all still invisible, right? That's correct, yeah. Um, I'm going to fire again. Okay, how many missiles would you like to launch? You can launch volleys. You can launch a single missile. You can launch a volley of two, three, four, or six. I think, I think last time I launched four. That's right. So I'm just going to launch in the same area. Yep, and so that will reduce your penalty to minus three. Okay. And you have both weapon systems and um, you are a weapons engineer. So successful rolls on those two skills will give you additional bonuses to strike. Okay, well, let's get those rolls out. Skills, weapon systems. Uh, here's weapons engineer. Weapon systems. All right, so you get an additional plus one to whatever your weapon proficiency bonus is there. So I think uh, that I think one of those plus ones is already calculated into your um, your sheet there. Into my roll. Yeah. Okay. So minus three plus one, so minus two. Mm-hmm. And sorry, how many missiles were you firing? Oh, I was firing the same as last time, so four. So four, okay. But it looks like I missed. That's right, yeah. You um, you overshoot, and so uh, you don't hit your target. However, uh, you are in the, the air. <laughs> They're all in the area there. And, um, yeah, that means they'll all take half damage because you missed your target, but boom, there's four missiles with a 20-foot radius you know, explosive area. So, um, yeah, they, uh, the power Lord is going to roll with punch faller impact. Yeah. So he'll take a quarter damage, whereas the others will take half damage and you rolled 23. We multiply that by four. And that is, what 80 92 all right and with an explosion like that we just need to see if they get knocked off their feet please have them get knocked off their feet so they take a turn getting up wouldn't that be great that would be lovely or 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 maybe become visible again well they don't have to maintain any concentration for that so. 
Golga, that this is where you have to start saying whammies, whammies, whammies. <laughs> no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> All right. All right, you did how much damage here to these guys? 10,000. So there's a 70% chance that they get knocked off their feet. Like those odds. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Didn't do it. All right, so one of them stays standing. The others lose an attack. All right. Cool. That brings us now to the first one is still standing, and he goes next. And so he is going to... Um, Surrender. Hit a button on the front of his suit, and an energy field pops up around him. You dick. There we go. So energy field pops up around him, and that's his action. The rest have lost their actions. Portland, and what are you doing? Okay, so, um, I do. I in my see the invisible. Do I see this force field pop up around this person? Uh, yeah, it's also magical. You see all the magical energy from it as well. Okay, so um, I will relay that information that they are putting up defenses. Okay. Cool. You call that um, down. That, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, how far are they in? They're about 300 feet away. 300 feet away. Okay, that's a little too far away for me. All right. Well, um, yeah, I guess that's like 60 feet. I am going to try to uh, befuddle. No, I can't do that. It's too far away. Huh. Well, I'm going to throw a stone because I got nothing else. All right. I'll throw a stone. Who are you throwing it at? Um, I'm going to throw it at... Which one is the one that put the force field up? Uh, Splugorth or or Overlord the... 1. Overlord 1. I am going to aim at Splugorth Power Lord. Okay. Yeah. Got a plus 2 to strike with that. I just want to say we're doing quite well, I think. That hits, pretty sure. Yeah, plus two gives us a grand total of ten, which should hit him. You can roll your damage. There you go. I rolled a three, so that would be seven. All right. Brings us back to the top to Senate. Um, so we're 300 feet off, right? Yep. Yeah, that that lands me at way outside of all my ranges. Well, aim aim where uh, uh, you know Cortland hit the rock again. This is true. I will do that. Are you gonna waste my ammo again? You'd only be at you'd only be at minus three to do that. Oh, that's much better to hit. Yeah, let's do that. Aiming at the spot where the rock hit. So that's, uh. Mm, D20, and that was minus 3 plus 1, so minus 2, right? Minus 3 plus 1, so it would be minus 2. That's correct. Okay, dope. That's a better number. Yeah, that will hit. You're just doing the 40 round burst, correct? Yeah, yeah. Again, we're. We're learning. Yeah, one d big gun. One d four times ten is the damage there. Ah, it's forty damage. Yeah, that's not good. Fun. That's, All right. No, no, no. That's real good. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. We're happy with this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. So forty mega damage. Um, and let me take a look at the knockdown chart again. Because that's a lot of that's a lot of mass hitting all of a sudden. Yeah, that's a lot of impact. 
I'm going to see if he falls down. Nope, he's still up. So he staggers back. The railgun rounds. Yeah, but this is what this is what Portland sees anyway. The railgun rounds, impacting his armor, and um, yeah. Nice shot, Sir Luke. What's up, Breaker? Breaker? Any 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 glitter boys in the area? <laughs> okay, so you're radioing for help. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. Gotrick. What are you doing? You've launched eight of your. What what's your payload? Eighteen total missiles. So you got ten missiles left. Yeah. So I got maybe like two two and a half rounds. Hmm, I'm trying to think here. Because if they if I hit them, and then you know some of them fell down. Part of me is like, well, I want to make my hit more effective, but I don't know if they fell down or not because I can't see them and I don't know if they're moving. That's right. So this makes it difficult for me. Yeah, I mean, basically, there's a big dust cloud and that that kind of clears from the wind coming off the ocean, and that's about it, right? You don't see any. Well, I'm gonna hope for the best and just uh, fire another round. Another volley of four. Another volley of four. All right. So same thing. Still, oh, I gotta do the weapon proficiency and uh, other one again. Uh just for the round, you've got it already. So you got one. You have the, you have the plus okay. one. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Before we continue here. Yeah. Are we still traveling forward towards them and making up this ground or are we I don't staying know. at the three? That would be up to that would be up to Godric. Okay. Well I was I didn't say anything about moving, I'm just firing. That's yeah, fine. we're, well, we're an artillery know. piece. I don't I don't know how well that would do up close. I just wanted to know. So I'm still so minus three plus one. Same as last time I think. Uh, yeah, because you're aiming basically for the crater, so. Yeah. All right. So that will, uh, that will cause, um, yeah, uh, aiming for the crate, the middle of the crater. So, yeah, these guys are going to roll with punch faller impact. Even though they're on the ground? Uh, well, they, they used up their attack getting up last time. Oh, right? gotcha. Except for the gotcha. one guy. So that's kind of why you lose the attack from a punch faller impact roll. Overlord 1. Overlord 2. Overlord 3. Overlord 4. And the Power Lord. Yeah, so they all save, so they will take Not everything needs to be above 10, you know. Well, actually, Overlord 1 wouldn't have done that because he has his energy shield up, so he did not roll. And the energy shield... But that basically, but that basically uses their turn while they dodge, right? That's a roll with, with the impact, so it's the same thing, really, when it comes to just how much has taken there. Um, but he has that much left on his energy field cool all right and that was gotrick splugorth overlord one who didn't roll oh what's he gonna ask do? for parlay yeah right that's what he's going to do he is going to push another button on his uh on his armor and that brings us to all of the other ones Overlord three rolled. Portland. We're still turning away, right? We haven't moved. Nope, we haven't moved. Great. Well, I don't. I don't know whether to run away or not. I don't even know what I'm shooting at. Well, there's these guys. Five of them, and they're aiming shit at us. They're pretty big. That's pretty much it. That's all I got. I, I've got a screen where I can see downrange, right? You can see I on see, the cameras, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I see, like, the missiles going off repeatedly and the, the rail gun and the... How, how big are these things? They're bigger than Sir Luke. 
And are they still alive after all of the the, the lead? And okay, the, yes. so cool. Is this is your turn going to be talking, Portland, or are you going to act? I'm going to act. Okay. I'm saying a little rock. Okay. All right. Well, that will hit. So you can roll your damage. Wow. <laughs> Four. Five, sorry. The power lord again, sorry. Yeah, got him. Those guys have all used their attacks rolling and such. Senate. I'm going to show. Is Are these attacks effective and then make another attack? Okay, go for it. And then after that, Screamer, is it worth getting out of here? That will hit. And because uh, you're shooting at the same. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Get all the way fucked. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And let me just give another D100 roll. He's, he's uh, still standing, I think. So. Yeah, I'm still standing. Take a, another stagger back there. Um, Sir Luke. Anyone? Anyone in okay, the area? Okay, you're going to just keep doing that? Cool. Gotrick? You know, if you just like got out and ran towards them, you'd be like hand-to-hand -hand combat them. Well, I mean, that involves opening up the uh, compartment, which I think puts everybody in danger. Well, it's that's really that's what idea. Portland's currently standing in, is the opened, oh, yeah. the opened I, hatch. I didn't realize that. That's how he I can see them. I didn't realize that. That's how I can see them. I thought you closed brave, it. Brave, brave, Sir Robin. Oh, Screw yeah. that. We're going to call him Sir Robin, not Sir. I didn't know that. I thought we closed it up. How did you I not we, know that? We didn't do it the entire time. I thought, I, thought we, I thought we closed it up. How do you think I'm chucking rocks, man? Did we start this episode with a sound warning or a volume warning? No, no, but my Still ears are bleeding. The headset now. off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, screw it. Next round, I'm going to jump out. Okay, you're going to have to get Portland to move out of the way. Oh. So it's, a, it's a single man hatch, but yeah. All right, with that, yeah. Gotrick. And the, um, <laughs> I'll fire again. All right. Might as well. Same number? Four? Same number, four. Actually, I'll do... Uh, I'm going to do six. Okay. And just so you've done... I have left. Yeah, I was going to say you've done four times three is 12, and six yeah. more is... Yeah, that's quite a bit. No, I've All done right. four times... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do... I'm going to launch what I got left. Six left. All right. There's a nine, so uh, yeah, it will hit that area, and uh, let me roll for these guys again here. beat a nine which they are doing yeah all right so they'll all take a quarter which is 17 oh sorry that's not a quarter it's because uh, you launched six so that's what 60 and 42 is 102 quartered is 25 And this guy's armor is kaput. Oh, which one? The Power Lord? Power Lord's yep. armor is kaput. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. And you can just kind of see him um, stand up from the roll and parts fall off and the like. And I this guy. That. I did that. He did. That's just the armor. Yeah. 
But guess what? I did that. How many rockets have you guys fired? All right. And so, uh, of course, only Portland can see that his armor falls off. Um, although, no, that means he's now visible. So you can see him standing there now. And that's Overlord 1 will put down his force field there, Portland. And he charges um, in a blur uh, toward the robot with his staff in front of him charging. So he will be moving. He covers about half that distance actually in one move. <clears throat> All right, uh, then uh, Overlord 3 rolled, so he loses his. Portland, what are you going to do? I'm going to yell, one's coming up quick. He's still cloaked, right? This one? Oh, he took, yeah. took off his shield? Uh, he took off his shield, but he's still invisible. Oh, no, one's coming quick. And uh, we either need to get the fuck out of here, or we're going balls to the walls, guys. All right, you yell that, and... And I'm going to... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to think. Well, he's still 150 feet away. Oh, this really sucks. You could get in to allow Sir Luke to get out. Sure, I will go inside. Okay. So you make your way back down into your seat. Overlord 2 and 4 and Power Lord can't do anything. Senate... Uh, I now have a visible target, right? Yeah, you have a dude standing there, yep. Oh, that dude. With wings and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good plan for him. So, uh, I might do the, the bigger burst now, because... Okay. Yeah. With a plus one. So now, yeah. Ooh. That'll do. That'll do, pig. All right. And he will use his attack to try to dodge by flying up. He gets no bonuses. Uh, he is far enough away to um, to not be at any huge penalties, but he'd still be at a minus two. So only a thirteen. So he does not dodge. And I was uh, really worried. <laughs> That, oh God, that power lord is going to take uh, what is it? What did I say before? It was one d four times ten? Now it that is was, that was one d four for the yeah. So is it double that now? Oh, sorry. All of those You're were supposed to be gun? were supposed to be one d six. They're one d one d six times ten. That's right. Oh. So let's put it this way: I'll let you re-roll those d fours which you maxed out on, or I will let you keep the d four rolls from before. Nah, we'll just keep them. Okay, I mean, it was so cinematic. If so you did you did the big burst now though. It's two d six times yep. ten. Sorry about the okay, error two. and the damage. No, no, no. That's hey, hey, yeah. the four four is beating the average. So two d six times ten. You said two d six times ten. Anyway, well, that's that's twice what we were doing before. Boom, and you tear through him. He tries to dodge, and he is a dead power lord. That guy did not hold up very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You tear him into pieces. Um, is that a straight attack or is that an AOE? No, that's a no, straight, that was... that's a straight yeah. attack. Um, okay. Yeah, he just gets torn to shreds. And, uh, yeah, he slumps over. The other uh, overlords are not too impressed. Not that we can see that. Yeah. Not uh, impressed with him or impressed with us? Because I'd be impressed with us. Sir Luke. Pretty fucking impressive. You now have an open portal that will uh, let you out. Yeah. Um, I need maybe, to... Maybe, maybe maybe Sir Luke can tell everyone on the radio that we killed a guy. That's true. Yeah. But he doesn't know. Oh, no, he does yeah, know. I don't know yeah, that. He does know. He, oh, yeah, see, we, saw, we saw him go splat. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just wondering if you're getting out of the vehicle or you're... 
Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my arm. I'm gonna charge up my armor before I do though. Okay, so you activate your armor. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Gotrick. Do I have like a PA system where I can announce stuff? Yeah. Out of my robot vehicle. To For sure. Masses? For sure. Yeah. Okay. So, so I want to go on the PA, um, and I basically just want to say your leader is dead. Surrender now or face his fate. Cool. And just kind of. You know, try and uh, try my best poker face to make them think that I can see them. Can giant robots shit themselves? Yeah. Overlord oh, one easy. is now at the feet of the robot, and he will. Uh, will he swings. He swings his staff at the leg of the robot. Thirteen to hit. Can I have a dodge? You can. Yeah, you can dodge. You'd have to move your leg out of the way, so it would be a dodge. Yeah. Oh. oh. All right. It so was, that it was it was edging on the eleven. Yeah. yeah. That leg takes uh, twenty-four mega damage. Wow. How much damage can that leg take? Two hundred and twenty. Is it my right leg or my left leg? Uh, it would be the one on the left side. All right. And that brings us to Overlord 3, who um, clicks a button on the front of his armor. And that brings us to Portland, who's now sitting in the robot. Maybe we should get out. <clears throat> Maybe we should leave. Did you get out yet? No, I said maybe we should leave. Portland, what do you want to do? I'm just sighing. Um, I love this guy. Radios everybody, then says he's going to get out, but then he tries then to says says leave. Yeah. And yeah. then now he says, let's run away. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like. I, we know what you just said. We got it. We got it. Loud and clear. Um, the third verse of Brave Sir Robin, Dan or was that the second? <laughs> when Danger reared his ugly head. <laughs> can I still see outside or not? <laughs> I can't see anything. Uh, you can see, I can't see it. It's hitting us. You can see the camera feed. Uh, you have a way of can seeing see that, it? but you can't see okay. them, right? There's no port. I can't see the guy. You, yeah, yeah, you, can't. yeah. The camera doesn't so give you. See the guy. Actually, uh, he right. attacked. Sorry, he attacked. He is now visible. Oh, good. Okay, then sorry. That's, that's yeah. Good. Are you changing your mind again? I'm just curious. Well, if I can't see them, it's not going to be much use. But if I could see them, at least I could do something. Um, I so couldn't I can... see them, and I still did something. Just Not a guy in half. You're controlling the robot. I'm controlling nothing. I relied on Portland <laughs> to point 300 exactly. meters away and say they're over there. So it's still like want something laser at them. They, they are over there. <laughs> but you still want something? What's more at shocking. Them. I think what's more shocking is the fact that it's. I relied on Portland. <laughs> oh, fuck you. That's, that's fair. fair <laughs> there's no argument. That is, there's no fairness there. You, there's there's no an argument that, that, you know, it could have been the Splugorth. It could have been like the Orphanarium. You never know. Right? No, it was me. It's always me. Anyways, since I can see this person, or whatever the fuck this is, I'm going to try to put a trance on this person you can't from inside the uh, from inside the robot unfortunately Not there. Okay. yeah okay can i put the armor of Ethan around this entire fucking robot then nope what the fuck okay um can you muddle him no he can't, can't he can't target a person through a camera right like oh. yeah yeah so I can't really do anything. So what I am going to do is I'm going to... I, do I see Sir Luke's feet above me? Uh, not above you. No, he's just in a seat uh, near you where you're sitting. I thought he was going out. I thought he was no, out. he decided to try got... to turn on his armor. Yeah, I got to oh. turn on my armor. Well, I got to have my armor on before I go out. So I came down because you asked me to. Yeah. And then you turned your armor... All right, Portland. I think if I you... stick my head, really just wanted to throw another rock. If I if I stick my head out this turn, can I attack too or no? Ah, uh, no. You'd have to get out of your seat and like adjust. Like they would take up the maneuvering that you would be required to attack. Uh, so, you... like 
right now. Give Sir Luke the armor of Ithan then, because he's apparently going out there. He's already activated his. Yeah. Oh, are they mutually exclusive? Yeah, they're both essentially armor of Ithan. Oh, there's really... Is there a Rubik's Cube around that I can play with? Yeah, you play with... You twiddle your thumbs. There you go. Or Overlord 2 uh, also activates, I guess, I hope my... He pushes the same button on his armor as the others one, other ones have. And same with Overlord 4. But none of you can see that, so... Is that me? When nope. I get out there? You, if yeah, if, out if there. you get out. If you ever get out. Yeah, if I ever get out. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, put both hands on my knee, or both my elbows on my, my thighs, and then put my hands on my eyes and kind of rub forward towards my forehead. <laughs> okay. As I'm doing that. Senate, yeah. your last attack. Um, okay. So this thing is visible, right? He is, but he's right by your feet, which means you can't and attack him with the Oh, with the I don't need the robot. I don't need the robot, and I don't need sight lines for this sort of nonsense. Um, he seems to be using some sort of electronical device down there. Oh. I feel like I could probably... Like, how tall is this robot? 32 feet. Oh, good, because I have a range of, like, 45, so assuming I'm not sitting on the roof, even then, still okay. Actually, it's 45 plus 5. Anyway, um, I might use electrokinesis and just start shutting off his equipment that he seems so reliant on right now okay so stabs and buttons and shields and invisibility and okay so you activate electrokinesis yep okay so i and don't know what he's got on him but you you sense all of the electrical devices that are surrounding you in this robot um mm. yeah you you try to reach further um you you can reach out what another 20 feet so right so you uh right that's 65 feet um yeah you you actually don't sense any electric devices on him oh that's, that's worrying magical. magical and that magical brings us now to Sir Luke. Are there, in that case, are there giant ass floodlights on this thing? Uh, there are, yeah. Can I flip them on in the attempt to blind everybody? I don't think you can control robotics with this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, like you couldn't just like, yeah, flashlights, toys, those sorts of things. Uh, it's just a big flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's computer controlled, so I don't think you're able to just complete the circuit on robotics. All right. Usually they yeah they restrict um, that for robotics. All right, that's fine. Otherwise, you could have shut down those robots in the past and stuff, right? Turned off their eyes or Do something have... like that. Sir Luke, you have a force field around you. I'm going out, and as I go out, I'm turning on my sword. Kay. Swords. Yep, you spend your action climbing up out of the hatch. So if you look at the uh, robot, the picture of the robot vehicle, you'll see a little hatch right there. That is where you climb out. Uh, that is the main hatch where everybody gets in and out of the robot. So you're kind of standing on its shoulder. About 32 feet off the ground. Gotrick. Ooh, actually, I know what I'll do. What's Rather that? Than, sorry, sorry, I was going to... Uh, if I had realized that, I would have done something differently. Sure. Um, I can I instead go out in the shoulder. I'm going to pull out my uh, my bow, and I'm going to you know launch her. So I could be on the shoulder, you know, with my bow, and I could be taking shots while Portland is you know throwing rocks at them. Yeah. Uh, regardless, you'd have to climb out onto the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. So draw your bow next turn, and yeah. 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 Cool. So. Uh, yeah, Godric. Yeah, I'm going to use my crotch gun to hit this guy. Okay, so you adjust the position of the uh, robot so that you can aim the crotch gun at him. Do you have sense of balance there, Sir Luke? I have lots of acrobatic skills. Sense of balance, one of them? 
sense of balance is indeed one of them. Cool. You want to roll that for me? Good. You there stay on go. your feet on the shoulder of this robot as he adjusts and aims the crotch gun at the overlord and open fire there, Gotrick. So 16 points of mega damage. Hits his armor. And that is your last attack there, Godric. All right. Um, Overlord 1 again winds up and swings his staff at the leg of the robot vehicle. Nineteen. So that will be another twenty-four mega damage to the leg of that robot vehicle. All right. Uh, Overlord three moves toward the robot. Portland, what are you doing? Last attack. I can only just get out, right? I can I can only maneuver out. I can't. Yeah, make you can. Well. Yeah, you can get yourself out the portal so that you can see. You don't have to be out on the shoulder, but you can just be sitting up through the the portal. But that's going to take your whole turn to maneuver around the seats and everything like that. Cool. I guess that's what I'm doing. All right. Sounds good. And these other two are also going to uh, make their way toward the robot. Stabs in hand. Back to the top to Sir Luke. You are on the shoulder of this thing still. Right. Can I blast him with my uh, my uh, energy bow? Sure. Oh, come on, that's almost a 17. No, all right. So you're shooting down over the side of this guy? Yep. Okay. And that's 10 points. You fire and you hit him. All right. And he and the others, they're charging in. They will be swinging away at that leg. A minute, well, yeah, it'll. Ooh. All right, well, other than that last one, that was going well. That guy missed. All right, so three hits. This is, this is like Tanya Harding school of attack. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. There we go. That leg is not doing well. And, um, yeah, I mean, in, in most circumstances, you would have to do sort of called shots on things like that if you were approximately the same size as your target. But as they are about the same size as the leg, it is what's right in front of them, right? So it's that's the only thing. It would be like trying to, you know, hit a tree. Right, so there it is. Um, yeah, that's bringing us back to uh, for the attack for Sir Luke. Okay, so I will hit again. So, what's the rate of fire on your bow? Does it say rate of fire? with your archery. It says zero. Oh, uh, sorry, be, archery, so. Uh, rate, four, so yeah. Four, yeah, yeah. You can take another attack. Cool, so and on the same guy? Yeah. All right, you hit him. And these guys get their final attacks as well. Ooh. 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 All right. Did you want to dodge any of those? Or... 
Well, it says I, you said I don't have any more turns left. Well, you you can use attacks from your next um, from your next uh, round, right? They will use up your attacks from the next round. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll uh, I'll dodge all except one, because then I guess I'll use that one to run away. No, you don't have to use an attack to run away. You can just choose to run. Yeah, but I want But if I if my leg is destroyed, then I can't run. Right, but I would use all of your attacks to dodge, right? And then we could run. You can still run, even though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Then right. I'll do that. Your attack, your your dodges are essentially trying to move away, right? So, we'll make it fair, right? Because there was a nine and an eight. So try, try dodging those yeah. first. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just select. You have five dodges you can make essentially. So let's try the nine. Yeah, so there's one dodge. Okay. There's the eight. Oh, I may have put a plus eight on that. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. I rolled an 11, though, but that still beat it. Yep. Okay, and then the next one was a 20. Uh, you can you can choose to not dodge the natural twenty. You would have to roll a natural oh, twenty okay, to do that. I won't, I won't dodge the nat twenty. Yeah, I'll the next dodge the next one, the six. No, that's a natural one, so he missed. Um, oh, the next okay. the next one is a uh, an, an, a dirty twenty, so you get your bonus yeah. to dodge with that, whereas you wouldn't with the natural twenty. Okay, but my bonus to dodge is only a two, so I gotta have a okay. 18. You can you can forego that dodge. If you like. Well, how many do I have? Four, and I've rolled two? You have five total, and you've rolled two. Okay. So you could try dodging so the 19 and the 12. That. And. Yeah, we'll try the 19. Okay. See what happens here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> One. Okay, we'll try the 12. Oops. Got a plus 12 there. Nope. Do you want to try dodging okay, the, the last uh, one. twenty? Th last the... one, I'll try the twenty. Okay. The dirty twenty. Yep. Because that's the next lowest one. Yep. There we go. All right, which means those four hit. So, four so your leg is in. Yeah, your leg is not in good shape. And as uh, a robot vehicle, you are in very poor condition here with that leg. Let's see what happens to it. 25, sluggish response. You're now minus one to dodge and your speed is reduced by 25%. Okay. Well, I am just going to run anyways. All right cool and yeah that brings us to the next round so let's see who gets initiative here come on oh shit all right everybody else has their initiative rolled mm -hmm. well damn it All right, these guys are going to roll. Let's see if they get any ones. There's a one. That's oh, a miss. <laughs> and a two, which is still a hit, though. So that's 24 more points of mega damage off that limb. It is not but doing well. But he could dodge that potentially, right? It's possible, yep. No, I used up all. Oh, that's right. He has no okay. attacks left this round. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, you can't just keep going forever, right? Like it would be. Uh, that's fair, 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 yeah. fair. Yeah. So. Are there but, any more that go before me? Uh, no. no. Senate gets to okay. go, and Sir Luke gets to go. But. Uh, I'm going to be running. All right. So Senate, anything? Um, one of the remaining Splugorth that hasn't attacked this turn, I am going to try and use. Bio manipulation on him. 
Okay. Cool. See if I can paralyze him. Cool. All right. So save versus psionics here. Nope. Which one were you targeting? Uh, one of the ones who hadn't attacked, so presumably Splugor 3. Okay. Splugor 3 is is what? What did you want to do then? Uh, paralysis. All right. He is paralyzed. So we're going to try and take him out of this whole exchange. All right. Cool. And Sir Luke? I'm going to try to aim at one of the ones that, uh, the one that hit, uh, hit the robot. So I'll aim at him. Okay. So number two. Cool. Fire away. Some ground fire at least. Yep. Fire away. Yeah. You'll hit him for 13. All right. <clears throat> and now we're on Gotrick, who is turning this sucker around and running away. That is absolutely correct. All right. Cool. So it's 112 maximum kilometers an hour. So yeah. Said 25 uh, you have you effectively a speed of 102 speed rating of 102 and you are down by 70 or you're basically 75 percent of that so you're at 76 yeah, so i'm down around it. yeah 76 ish okay cool yeah yeah that is faster than these guys so <clears throat> you make a break for it and uh Thank God. yeah you can easily clear the distance there need to do a balance check oh yeah because you just went you just turned fast. you just swung it around and went full full force right so uh so yeah sir luke uh, i also because you've made that maneuver i also first i need you to give me a, a pilot robot check oh, okay because it's kind of an evasive maneuver you just turned in full tilt yep. right It'd be like doing a bootleg in a car and slamming uh, on the gas robots and power armor there that's it yeah there you go you pull it off sir luke uh this is uh, okay, I was going to say with a minus 30, uh, but you still pull it off. So you are still standing on this thing and riding the robot as it just leans forward and and runs as fast. And it's it's not a it's not a very even thing. That leg is barely hanging on um, as the overlords uh, give some chase um, before they uh, yeah before you they vanish into the into the distance there not being able to keep up with you and i use my limited control of this vehicle to get its right arm and flip them off as we run away <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure there's that's enough a genuine is a genuine question i'm sure there's enough telemechanics I mean, to that, raise both was... arms over the robot's head with fingers raised yeah. yeah given that i was like threatening them to kind of like drop their weapons or they'd be destroyed and a couple seconds later we're running away I don't know if we should be the ones flipping them off. <laughs> yeah, but we this survived. Is a, no, no, no. This is a great merch opportunity. I'm just saying. <laughs> Put your shit down or you're in trouble on the front. It's just a giant ass robot running off, flipping you off while it runs. Until we meet again. Yeah. All right. And so, uh, where are you running to? Um, running back to where we were. Thunder Bay? Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay. Because he's literally Terry Fox hobbling around right now. Oh my god! Oh, oh wow! Oh, oh my oh, god! You did it! That's... You are going to hell. No. You're going to hell. Brutal. All of our American listeners, just Google oh. Terry Fox. Don't. We're not. We can't. Listen, I've said like 15 things this entire like hour. Oh, and yeah, now you've but made that's, it 16. That's the line. That is the line. No, the line was crossed. He just didn't cross it. Oh my god, he did it again! Oh, Don't feed into this, it's not going to get oh, better. God, this is terrible. And with oh, that... Roger, Terry Foss is my hero. <laughs> <laughs> he's everybody's hero, of course he's your hero. And with that, Wait. we will end this episode <laughs> on a strange note. I'm Magnum Pi. I'm here with Teku, Golgotha, Vahilo, and Dark Templar. And we are initially zero. Dark.